Hello everyone, this is Jamerican347 and I just wanted to go over my um, Touch Pro 2 with you guys. I did a few customizations to it and that I think you, um, those who actually still have the Touch Pro 2 will appreciate. Uh, as well as I'm using a custom ROM called Super ROM which you can find at ppcgeeks.com and I'll post links in my description to where you can get the ROM and if you want to flash your phone what you can do. So. Uh, to begin, um, it's a standardized uh, Touch Pro 2 here that I have, um, keyboard and everything, 3.5mm uh, jack because this is a, a CDMA version, you can see the Sprint logo there, and uh, standardized Touch Pro 2, but what I did with it is, as I said, I put that ROM on there, and the ROM comes with uh, Sense UI, which is an HCC um, interface, as you can see here, uh, 2.1. Uh, the newest version is 2.5 for Windows Mobile, but that version, in my opinion, is very buggy and laggy. Um, I'm going to show you a few things that I've done with this version. Um, first of all, you can see the speed of this ROM is really, really fast, and it loads really quickly. I could click on the weather here, and I'll show you how fast the weather loads up. The bottom has a few different... Oh, man, it's going to be thundering. i got a bike ride. Oh, well. So you see the weather there, um, as well as if I come to the mail, um, the mail is a customized application. Let me just check it out, make sure I don't have anything important there first. So let me scroll, flip through some of these things. Oh, here it goes. Here's a mail that's not important. So uh, you can flip through your mails and stuff like that. So that's a nice uh, feature. This is a, a, a customized version from... This is a customized version from the one that comes with Sense UI 2.1. This is the version of the mail app, uh, the mail tab, excuse me, that comes with 2.5. And I got this version um, hacked on to my version by downloading a cab, and I can tell you how to do that as well. You can look at my uh, links, or I might make another video, uh, depending on what the demand is. So, um, what you can do when you have a, it's kind of hard to do this while I'm looking at the camera. So. What you can do when you have a um, HEC device is you have this uh, menu in the right top right corner when you're in the Sense UI, and that's a task manager. Now it's empty, so that means nothing is running. So I'm actually going to go in there and show you how much memory I have when nothing is running. So right now I have 84 megabytes free. Recently it said 90, 90 megabytes. So when you boot up, it starts with 90 megabytes. You lose some, um, but usually the case is, is that you start out with 60 megabytes free. Um, with a regular ROM from Sprint. So my UI here um, is the Windows Mobile 6.5 UI as you can see and it's really fast like I'm really trying to lag this thing out but you can see it's really like retracting and stuff it's really moving really going and there's nothing running again but that's in most cases you won't have anything running unless you are doing a specific multitasking event the point of multitasking, to kind of bring it up, is really to just allow you to do multiple things at the same time, such as to read a text while you're downloading something in Opera, for instance. If you're listening to music, you should be able to multitask the music. Most devices these days allow you to multitask basic functions like music and poss possible website loading in the background. Um, but they don't allow you to multitask a lot of things um, in general. So let's say um, Microsoft My Phone. Microsoft My Phone is a great application in the sense that it allows you to sync all your text messages. Pretty much anything that uh, Microsoft Exchange, which I'm also running on this, does not sync, it allows you to sync. So I have uh, my Google account through um, Google Sync syncing to my device through Exchange, which is a Microsoft product. And so it syncs my G, um, Gmail, my school Gmail, as well as my calendar and my contacts but it doesn't sync my uh, text messages, notes, and some other things. So you can actually come in here and push uh, options, see what it syncs. So you can see all the things it syncs in here. It syncs your tasks, test messages, browser, I can't, let me see, can I scroll it? Or is it already scrolled? Oh, it's already scrolled, so it's showing everything. So you can sync even music and videos if you want. Um, it's only 200 megabytes though, so um, I usually don't sync my music and my videos um, from my device, but I do sync photos and everything else. And it's a great application. It syncs every night at around 11, 11 o'clock. 
um, and it just synced right there. <clears throat> and you just push sync and it's a really quick, it authenticates and everything. Um, this is pretty much like uh, mobile me, but it's free. I said it, free. Free application, it's great, I love it. Um, I think everyone who uses it will love it too. And again, now I'm running that in the background. So that's the point of that. So this is just the alarm clock. I pushed that by accident to come back. All right, now there's another application I wanna show you called Gyrator. And the whole point of Gyrator, it's not gonna be anything when it loads up, but the whole point of Gyrator is it actually opened up and it's now running in the background, as you will see here. The whole point of Gyrator is to um, allow you to rotate applications using the accelerometer. So um, you can rotate uh, the start menu here with whichever way you want. Now, I believe this device has an automatic rotation, but it's either buggy or it, there's problems with it or it's too bloated in the sense that it's slow. And so I think the original ROM person who made this, which is for the Super ROM, took it out or disabled it. And so I've been using Gyrator instead. And even though you have to run it in the background and it's always there, it's a lot faster. And so some of the things you can do with Gyrator is the following. So I have a, a flat surface here. Hope this this may or may not work because this is not a fully flat surface. This is my bed, it's an air bed. So bear with me if it doesn't work, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So a thing I did was I customized Gyrator to allow me to lock my device. Um, lock my device when I put in a certain orientation. Gyrator allows you to uh, program um, certain functions in your device. So for instance, if I place my device face down while I'm in Sense UI, which is the main screen here, or uh, anywhere in Sense, whoops, I don't want to show you my phone number. I just pushed the uh, voicemail. Sorry about that. Um, so if I am on the home screen here, I can actually put my device while the stylus is in on its face and it should lock the device. And it did. See that? So now if I push the power button, it's locked. Let me unlock it. See, four. Okay, and I unlocked it. And now it's there. But let me take the stylus out. Let me show you without the stylus, and you hear that beep, that means the stylus is out. It will not lock the device. Because to me, I didn't want it to, I wanted it to be that, you know, when I am done with the device, of course I'm gonna put the stylus back in. So now it's not gonna lock it. So um, if I, let's say, wanted to listen to some music, you know, in the back of my device here, and I wanted to put it on his face, I wouldn't want it to lock though. Um, I could take the stylus out, put it on his face, this is some, some jamming tunes or whatever you want to call it, and I'm right back to my device without having any problems. But if I want to lock it, hear that click, that means the stylus is back in, put it on his face, pick it back up, and it's locked. So this is a great, another great application. I love it so much because it allows me to Put, you, usually on a flat surface, it's just down, pick it up, put it in my pocket, and I'm ready to go. Um, on my bed, it's a lot harder because um, there it's not flat, so it has to be on a really flat surface for it to work right. So another great application. Um, I'm just really showing you the, the, the major stuff because, I mean, there's a lot of stuff on here, such as Skyfire, which used to be exclusive to Windows Mobile, but now it's on um, Android, and I don't know if it's on iPhone yet. Um, I don't think it is yet. Um, but... Actually, it's not on iPhone yet. What am I talking about? Opera's on iPhone. I confused them. But Skyfire is on Android now, so it's no longer exclusive to Windows Mobile, so I can't root for that anymore. Um, but it's another great application. I have three browsers in here, so I have them actually in a, like a line here. So Internet Explorer. It's kind of like uh, uh, worst, better, best <laughs> order. If you, if you, It's kind of funny that way. Um, but, I mean, this is good for basic, applica basic um, applications like Gmail, in, in the web browser. Opera Mobile isn't really good for Gmail and the, the web browser is good for general website browsing and Skyfire is best for just flash video viewing. You know, you have your Facebook. You know, you, the marketplace here is full of paid applications, which sucks. Um, and uh, so I wouldn't recommend even going in there unless you wanted to get the free apps like Skyfire or Facebook. Um, I use WM Wi-Fi Router. I'm running out of time here because I kind of focused on some other things. But WM Wi-Fi Router is a great application. allows you to um, tether your device uh, to laptops. So I can actually get internet on a Mac using the Bluetooth version or I can use these two for the PC. And this allows me to sync it to the computer so that it gives data to the computer and charges. So um, Windows Mobile is not dead by any means. It's great, great. I mean, it runs great. And I mean... 
again, this is just proof of it. You know, I, I love this device. I love Super ROM. I'll give you guys the links um, to whatever you request, but hopefully you guys can see, you know, with just a little bit of exploration, a little bit of looking around, a little bit of, um, uh, which call it some hard work, really. That's really what you need. You can make this device your own, and I have. You know, I went through four or five ROMs, sucky, terrible ROMs, to find this beautiful one, and it works great. So hopefully this has changed your point of view on Windows Mobile a little bit. Um, if you want more videos from me about this, I'll be um, reading your comments and seeing what you think. Uh, hopefully you like my video. Uh, if you did like it, you know, didn't like it, whatever, tell me. I really don't care. In terms of uh, if you say like it, you don't like it, you know, it's good honest feedback and I appreciate it for the next video. All right, this is Jim American signing out.